Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service again, and today I'm going to show you another application slash business uh, logic vulnerability. Um, we are logged in here, right to our administrative portal, which is the administrator of a hospital with different doctors. And you can see something here that some doctors have like the unavailable status set and some doctors have like the available or bookable status set, right? So this is Dr. One, as you can see in the URL, it has the ID number one, and this is ID number two, and this is ID number three, and this is ID number four, okay? So that's just for context. Let's head over to be like a customer or a patient. We go to our website and we want to make an appointment, right? Like, so let's make an appointment and then you have your application form. So I say hacker, hacker, and then seven Wood Street in London, and a phone number and an email address, and a date of birth, the 1st of January 2000. And so no comments, but something which stands out right away is you have like a DRID and it's a hidden field. So a normal user would not see this, right? So why do I see this? Um, well, because of Burp Suite. So everything I'm doing, I'm running through Burp Suite. So if I head over to Burp Suite, you can go to the proxy settings. And in the proxy settings, you will find down here that you will have the opportunity here in the response modification rules, unhide hidden form fields. So I highly recommend doing this because very often you see like hidden form fields which are being used in the request, but which are not visible to the user. So that's always interesting. And then prominently highlight unhidden fields, which is basically the red square around it, right? So this is very useful. And so me as an attacker, I'm thinking now, hey, what happens? I can basically choose the doctor. I I want to I want to to select right. So what if I select Doctor One? So this is Doctor One, right? And I'm not supposed to do this, but let's let's give it a try, right? So I put in ID one, and I say book appointment, and the appointment actually went through fine. Okay, so I can now check the appointment here, and once again, it doesn't say anything that I booked. Oh yeah, here I actually booked Julie. Right, but I should have not booked truly because truly is marked as unavailable. Right, so this is a business logic application error, um, which means I'm I have now as an as an attacker or as a patient I have booked a doctor which has been clearly set unavailable, and this will mess up business processes on the back of it. Right, so this is a business logic vulnerability, and it stems from the fact that I was able to select the doctor ID, which I shouldn't have been, but because it is a hidden field, I was able to make the hidden field visible. And then I simply changed the doctor ID and I've chosen an unavailable doctor. I hope this makes sense. And I look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you.